If you're watching this, I'm dead. Disappointment, a failure. You spent years trying to fight this war, and for what? Corruption still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you. Rachel Ghoul, you allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? <laughs>
I'd rather keep my humanity. You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. for it as best as I can. I know you have to. I'm sorry it's come to this. for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. You are clear to engage. Grenade! I'm leaving you the 
Belfry as the base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. <laughs> Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. <laughs> and he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. Always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom?
I'm at Gotham U. So this professor was Batman's last case? Kirk Langstrom. The half-finished file was attached to Batman's Code Black. There's something big there. Hopefully that means a fight. Could stand to let out some aggression right now. got a positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. So our scientist got himself dead. Where's his office? Langstrom's dead? Oh, hold on, just checking GU's website. Uh, here we go. His office is on the third floor in Molten Hall. Thanks. Someone left the doors open on the third floor. Body cam recording. This is it. Not seeing much police work here. Guess Langstrom kicked it somewhere else. Okay, those marks are weird. Not much on my end yet. You need anything, big guy? I got this. You don't need to do all of this alone if something's weird. Sounds like you don't trust me, Nightwing. He trusted you. So? So do I. We'll finish this for him. Yeah, yeah, I get it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Someone messed this place up bad. Langstrom died in here. Guess the cops got tired and went home for the night. Langstrom was busy working when he was attacked. He lost a lot of blood. Fast. He tried to run, but the attacker pinned him to the wall. He didn't have a chance. Just before he died, Langstrom tried to get to that cabinet. What could be so important? Well, well, well. A hidden door. You're full of surprises, Dr. Langstrom.
Maybe I can enter a code on the thermostat. Langstrom might have had a system to open his secret door from his tablet. This microwave doesn't look right. Maybe it's not just for warming up leftovers. That's not a Gotham area code. Maybe this phone number isn't just a phone number. Got it. Time to find out what you were hiding, Langstrom. going on in here. This can't be normal university research. Langstrom's desk. Let's see what he's been up to down here. drive. Must be important if it was hidden down here. Better get this back to everyone. I'm done here. I don't think the cops saw the marks on the walls, and they definitely didn't see the hidden lab. I'm bringing you a hard drive I found in there. Can't wait to hear what you've got. See you soon. Seriously, no one could have seen me. The freaks are here setting fires. Of course. Gangs have been tightening their grip on Gotham since Batman stopped showing up. The freaks want the neighborhood to know they're in control. Well, time for me to crash their party. I can't focus on George in this place with all that racket! Turn off the damn fire alarm up there! <laughs> Better take care of his buddies before they burn the whole damn place down. Look out! 
up here. I'm a professor of setting stuff on fire. Gotta stay out of sight. Are the fumes getting to you, buddy? This never gets old. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash, smash! Shut up. You burn now, grass. No one will mow you ever again. There's gotta be more of them here. Enjoying the fireworks! Damn it, this whole place is gonna burn down! See if you'll break too. drive I found so we can crack it open together. Maybe we'll find out what got Langstrom killed.
few moments later. Nice work grabbing that drive from Langstrom's lab. Do we have any idea of what killed Langstrom yet? Hard to say much until these computers are up and running. Or we can examine the body, but for what it's worth, my gut says we're dealing with a who, not a what. Well, that makes me feel slightly better. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. 